Following the dramatic recovery in equity prices, both globally and in South Africa, many clients have asked us the question, how did this particular recovery differ from previous recoveries of the bear markets that we've experienced? And there are a number of differences that I would like to highlight. The first one is, during a recovery, after a bear market, we would normally find that it is quite a protractive process when equities recover. It can take anything between one and three years for the markets to recover to the levels before the sell-off. If you look at this current recovery, the market recorded a low in, in late March and two and a half months later, we've seen that the NASDAQ, which is an indication of valuations of IT shares listed Globally, the NASDAQ is currently trading at 2.5% above the level that is recorded at the beginning of the year. Even in South Africa, stock prices are only 5% below the highs that they recorded late in February. So the first point is this recovery has been very dramatic and it's been very, and it's been very rapid. The second, the second difference is you would normally find after the sell-off that share prices take some time to find a level and stabilize. In this case, we've seen very little of that. After the phase of stabilization, most of the sectors and most of the categories of equities start to move up in prices. And then we move in a third phase where you would normally find that the value shares take the lead in the recovery and leave behind the growth shares uh, in the final phase of the recovery. If one analyzes this particular recovery, we have seen no stabilization. We have seen a general recovery in equity prices. And in recent weeks, unlike other recoveries, we have seen that the value shares were left behind and that the growth stocks and the very favorable names have taken the lead, which is very different to what we've experienced. Of course, the next question is, Firstly, we can argue that if we were worried about the valuation of equity markets in January, surely we must worry again because the levels are more or less the same. So as a team, we have decided that it is time to reduce the equity exposure in our multi-asset portfolios and in fact build up a bit of cash in the equity portfolios where we can find shares that are too expensive. And secondly, it's not a blanket approach that we will apply in reducing equities. We have seen and I've spoken about the differentiation in the, in the appreciation of shares. So we've seen some shares are simply too expensive and the trimming of equities will happen in that area where we, where we regard the assets as overvalued relative to the current market prices.